World Premiere. For the first time, AMD has demoed their Fidelity FX Super Resolution tool to enhance the image quality in games while improving the frame rates. With that, this technology is a direct competitor to DLSS 2.0 from Nvidia. And today we are discussing this impressive demo from AMD and talk about why console gamers on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series consoles should be excited about this technology. Hello gamers from around the world, this is Archimedes, the video game enthusiast from Germany with a more or less follow up video to my vid from earlier this week. Sometimes the video game industry is just so fast paced that it's hard to keep up as a content creator. Earlier this week I uploaded a video where I explain a patent from IMD that suggested that Fidelity FX Super Resolution, the big image enhancement tool from AMD, can use an AI to hardware accelerate the upscaling and image improvement technology. And literally, while I was uploading this video to YouTube, AMD has demoed for the first time this Fidelity FX Super Resolution tool in action running on a PC. So today we are going to discuss what AMD has actually shown, what it means for PlayStation and Xbox gamers and what the potential of this technology is for the games that are coming in this upcoming generation. And as always I'm trying to break the tech talk down in understandable words. But before we go through all of that I want to ask you for a favor. If you watch this video and end up enjoying yourself then please consider to hit the like and subscribe button and maybe even turn on the notification bell to not miss out on future content. This doesn't cost you anything but it helps my channel more than you think and I would greatly appreciate your support. Ok, but now let's dive into the Fidelity FX Super Resolution. In case you missed the video earlier this week I just want to briefly bring everyone up to date so everyone knows what the tool actually is. Think of this tool as a technology that allows images that have lower resolution to be increased in resolution without losing image quality. Sometimes I've seen comparisons to checkerboarding, which is really not fair because this technology is more like Nvidia's DLSS 2.0, while checkerboarding shows artifacts when increasing the resolution and if the base resolution is low like 1080p to 4K, images can get blurry. Nvidia has introduced DLSS and the latest version DLSS 2.0 with their RTX graphic cards and they have shown some impressive results when they used machine learning, meaning the use of an AI, to increase the lower res images. The idea is really simple allow game developers to render games at lower resolution, let's say 1080p or 1440p, and then use this image enhancement to put out a native 4K image. This saves a lot of computational resources and therefore giving us better frame rates while maintaining the image quality. Now AMD has been talking about their counterpart to DLSS for a while now and it's called Fidelity FX Super Resolution. But to this day we have not seen that technology in action. AMD was very convinced to develop the technology not just for a particular set of graphics cards. This toolset is more open source. It can be applied to a multitude of different GPUs, even those that do not have hardware accelerated machine learning capabilities. We also learned that they worked really close together with Microsoft to implement APIs for DirectX 12 Ultimate, so that this technology can be used really well on machines that are using DirectX 12 Ultimate like the Xbox Series consoles. So far what we know or assume is it will be very optimized on these systems. But again, this is an open format that is available to all developers, even their direct competitor Nvidia. They demonstrated that this technology also works on Nvidia graphic cards, which is pretty awesome to see. Of course there will be differences in how big the improvement through this technology is. It will depend on the capabilities of the different GPUs, but still in general the technology works across a lot of devices. There has always been the question out there if Sony can use the same technology on the PS5, because we really don't know what kind of RDNA 2 features are in that console. But AMD M emphasize it can work across a lot of GPUs. RDNA 2 is not mandatory and so we assume that it will work on the PlayStation 5 as well. Maybe not to the same extent as on the Xbox Series consoles because they can leverage the full implementation to DirectX 12 Ultimate. Ok, but enough talk, let's have a look here at the demonstration from AMD. And as you can see they've demonstrated Fidelity FX Super Resolution with the game Godfall on PC. They run the game at native 4K with all the graphic enhancements they can enable, including ray tracing and then they ran the game at a lower base resolution but with fidelity effects enabled. You can barely see a difference in the visual quality but the overhead from now rendering at a lower base resolution allows to run this game at a significantly higher frame rate. They also demonstrated that this will work with different settings. Developers can basically choose how much they want to maintain visual quality or how much they want to boost frame rates. Now this is really exciting because if we consider this upcoming generation the talk should not just be about who can hit full 4k resolution 
solution in a certain game. Technologies like this allow us developers to save up valuable GPU resources to give us better graphic effects, better particle effects, more details in the world, better simulation of the environment and for instance significantly better lighting with ray tracing. And even AMD emphasized that this technology was for instance developed with ray tracing in mind. Let's hear from themselves. Fidelity FX Super Resolution, or FSR, is built around a state-of-the-art spatial upscaling algorithm that delivers a great gaming experience with super high-quality edges and distinctive pixel detail. It greatly improves performance, especially when demanding effects like ray tracing are turned on. We have developed FSR to deliver great performance, great image quality, and most importantly, for broad adoption. Okay, and this is particularly exciting for us console gamers, because we don't want to sacrifice frame rates in favor of the very hardware-hungry ray tracing. The new consoles have a lot of capabilities. We know a lot about the hardware specs, for instance, from the Xbox Series consoles. They have dedicated hardware acceleration for ray tracing. They have machine learning capabilities and the velocity architecture. And this technology is now only the icing on the cake. We are moving away from 4K rendering, and to be honest, that's a good thing, because it is with these very sophisticated sophisticated upscaling technologies a waste of GPU resources. And even better news is that this technology is out now and first games that will be available on PC will be out by June 22nd. More than 10 studios and game engines will support that in 2021 across more than 100 different GPUs and CPUs. But with that I want to wrap it up. I don't think it is a coincidence that we get this demonstration like 11 days before E3. With a lot of game engines already having access to this Fidelity FX Super Resolution tool, it could very well be that we will see first games that make use of this amazing technology running on consoles during E3 in a couple of days. And like I said earlier, these kind of technologies will help to define the next generation graphics that we are all waiting for. And it is great to see that AMD developed this technology with scalability in mind across a ton of devices, because it will be one of the big things across this upcoming generation that games can be scaled from consoles to PC to cloud to your washing machine. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did so please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button as well as the notification bell and consider sharing this out to other gamers. And if you want to support the channel even further you can now become a channel member. This will grant tier 2 channel members early access to my videos and all members will get access to custom made badges and emojis. If you want to learn more about channel memberships you can just hit the join button and you will find all the infos you need there. And let me thank those who already are members. I'm truly humbled by your support and you are a a big part in helping me taking this channel to the next level. And now let me know in the comments down below what do you think of the Fidelity FX Super Resolution demo? What do you think will be applications for this tool? And besides here on YouTube you can also hit me up on Twitter where I share a lot of opinions and gaming discussions. But for now thank you very much for watching, I see you the next time and game on!